Welcome Cryptopians to Total Crypto Updates, bringing you another video for real deep dives into the crypto industry. I can't promise to only speak about crypto, but I can promise everything will be overstood. Let's dive into today's very dense crypto update. Today, I want to start off with a video on one of the Federal Reserve's plans to raise inflation on the taxpayers' behalf. The video was published by Crypto Tips just a few hours before this video. So, right now, I'm going to go over this. The cost of a $400,000 house home with a 10% down payment uh, in 2021, that would have been, you would have had a 2.88% interest rate. That would have cost you 1000 essentially $1,500 per month. In 2022, just a year later, at 6.7% interest rate, that would have cost you $2,323 a month. So now a $400,000 home would now cost $836,280 over 30 years. Ouch. Yeah. And guess what? A lot of people are going to be losing their houses because they can't afford a double of, of a payment. Guess who's going to buy it? The Federal Reserve. They're going to add, add this to their mortgage-backed securities, and they're going to print tons of currency, and that's going to go on to the Fed balance sheet, creating a lot more inflation, which is going to hurt a lot more people. See this cycle that's happening right now? With that being said, let's move on to why the SNP Global Executive suspects everything will be tokenized eventually. Chuck Mounts, SNP Global's chief DeFi officer, spoke to crypto advocate Scott Melker this week about tokenization. In a summary of Mounts' statement, Mounts stated to Melker on October 11, according to the Daily Hodl, a token represents an asset or utility. Tokenization converts a valuable asset into a blockchain-usable digital token. Blockchain tokenized assets take two forms. They can be tangible or intangible, like gold, real estate, and art. Anything that can be owned, has value, and can be incorporated into a larger asset market can be tokenized. Tokenization predates blockchain. Since the 1970s, the financial industry has used tokenization to protect client data. This process converts sensitive information like credit card numbers, social security numbers, and other PII into a string of alphanumeric characters, which is then processed by a cryptographic function to create a unique token. This method resembles blockchain's tokenization process. Blockchain-enabled tokenization allows for a more secure yet flexible tokenization of assets, which has significantly broadened the potential applications of digital tokens across a wide array of industries. Here is a short clip from the interview. You guys obviously are in the infancy of your team. You said it's only been a few months. If you had to guess, at what point do we start actually seeing ratings and reports coming to fruition that are usable for institutions and the general public? Well, I would say we've already started that with the rating of Compound Prime and Treasury. Um, and uh, kind of, I think we're going to see more uh, ratings coming out from the DeFi and crypto landscape that harness our existing uh, infrastructure around risk assessments. So it could be corporate risk assessment, sovereign risk assessments, uh, structured products risk assessment. And I think you're going to see kind of more of that rolling out in, in the near term. Uh, kind of building that longer stage uh, risk assessment framework that uh, Charles and I were talking about, it's hard to say be, kind of what that time frame is going to look like. You never even know what the space is going to look like. We don't know exactly. <laughs> yeah, and there's, a, there's still a lot of... Also another notable partnership recently presented in Cointelegraph Crypto Digest. Google and Coinbase have recently agreed to new payment methods. Coinbase Payment Service, Coinbase Commerce, will begin accepting crypto payments for consumers purchasing Google's cloud services in early 2023, according to a partnership between the two businesses. Google will accept just specific crypto assets, including Bitcoin, as payment. The ability to pay using cryptocurrency will be given to additional clients later, according to a Google Cloud official. Google Cloud has taken numerous further moves toward its engagement in the crypto and blockchain industries in 2022. 
Also on Cointelegraph.com another article brings attention to an ongoing legal matter, between Grayscale's ETF application and the SEC, Grayscale has been screaming lawsuit to the SEC and finally it's here. Grayscale's BTC Trust trades at a 36.7% discount to their real BTC holdings, and the disparity may be due to more than the market-wide decline. Since May 2014, when the Winklevoss Bitcoin Trust filed an amendment request with the SEC, U.S. investors have waited for a Bitcoin ETF approval, SEC. Wisdom Tree's application for a spot Bitcoin ETF was denied on October 11. The SEC found that the offer lacked the capacity to identify, investigate, and deter fraud, market manipulation, and breaches of exchange regulations and federal securities laws. ETFs contain commodities, equities, and bonds as underlying assets. ETFs are pooled and managed by their issuers, like mutual funds. Buying an ETF offers the investor actual ownership of its contents, resulting in different taxes than futures contracts and leveraged holdings. Grayscale's GBTC is the market leader despite being constituted as a business. The investment trust is closed-end, therefore shares are limited. GBTC shares are not freely generated nor redeemable. This inefficiency produces price differences with the fund's Bitcoin holdings. An ETF's market maker can create and redeem shares, maintaining a small premium or discount. Now on the biggest riser in all crypto this week, the Huobi tokens, HT, 86% gain in the previous seven days appears to have taken another turn, due to Justin Sun's revelation. As Huobi Global finalizes a fresh ownership transfer, the Poloniex CEO believes he may be the largest HT holder. This was said by the controversial figure in a recent interview with Bloomberg. Sun had earlier stated that he would not be taking over the exchange but would instead serve as an advisor. However, recent Huobi exchange activity may imply that the Tron, TRX, creator has gained a share in the firm. Although certain parts had been steadily improving, others had reached new lows. According to Santiment, the HT one-day circulation has declined from 74.23 million on October 13. Meanwhile, it did not appear that HT investors would suffer significant losses if the token price fell somewhat. Investors who have held the token from the beginning of October would still be in the black, according to the 30-day market value to realized value MVRV, ratio. Despite a drop of 19.02%, the MVRV indicated that greater increases were possible. That will conclude today's update on trending news in the crypto world. Remember, the social media platforms will be up and running next week. With the last channel being deleted we must now start over. Don't forget we have a $50 giveaway for when we hit 200 subs and followers on all social platforms. We also raised the giveaway for 1000 subs on YouTube to a $200 giveaway. Don't miss out, all you have to do is like, follow, subscribe and tag as many people as you can. We will be watching who tags who and keeping tabs on which one of those tags actually followed and subscribed. I repeat, this is not a random drawing. Anyone can compute the giveaways themselves. Good day, good night, and goodbye.